guys welcome to my channel Vanessa here speaking and today I'm going to unbox my birthday gift for myself so anyway I actually will unbox this because I haven't found anyone that unboxes kind of set that I have here most of the time I see certain other sets that would be presented in YouTube okay I did my research and I haven't found any just like this so I go ahead and unbox this okay um, anyway with that being said guys now I will unbox this gift for myself and I didn't give wrap it obviously because it's um inside the plastic I give you noise because actually there's construction going on on my neighbor actually it's very hard for me to work um every time it's not night time a lot of noises that's happening anyway so let me unbox this gift for myself so i'll just go ahead and use my scissors so if you ask me when is my birthday it's april 26 <laughs> and now is april 22 and i'm actually um doing this and oh dear double double wrap <laughs> anyway I unboxed this earlier on because of the fact that I need to put a um, rate for the seller. Okay. Anyway, I will show to you um, the seller link down below. Anyway, let's proceed with the unboxing. Okay. There's a lot of wrapping here. So look at the color it's pink actually pink is not my favorite color guys okay blue is my favorite color <laughs> anyway just so happened that i ordered this actually i don't have a chance to pick the color of my choice since it's kind of like default or the only one that's available the, the sellers so in, if you're interested just look at the link down below but take note guys that this is pre-order of what i ordered so surprise guys what this is so actually this is a glass dip pen and it's a set as you can see so for that just go ahead and use my again it's pink my gosh but pink is not my favorite color it's blue just so happens that I have pink stuff. <laughs> I'm girlish, guys. That's why. Anyway. So, it's gonna be my birthday. That's why I changed my background to do a painting with balloons. So, I painted this. But it's paint by numbers. Basically, that's not really my art. Okay. I'm removing the plastic. Deep pen. Anyway, let's see what we got. I hope the item is complete. And oops, I accidentally knocked my lamp <laughs> on my side. I had to do lamps on each of the side there. Anyway, so this is what I got. I got actually 12 sets of inks here. Sorry about that. And I got a um, glass here where you can actually dip your pen to wash and this is really a small one oopsie <laughs> looks like a wine glass anyway guys i i will suggest you guys to use this one because it will actually um scratch the nib or you might accidentally you know chip the nib if ever you will use something that's hard so this is not advisable so for that i would advise you guys to have an alternate option which is this one okay actually this is plastic and what i did here is that i cut a portion um on a what do you call this a plastic bottle 
Okay, I love recycling stuff. So you don't have to purchase actually um, what do you call this drinking cup for this project, all right? So you can simply recycle. So I'll show to you the the one that I cut. What kind of bottle it was? So here is the bottle. Okay. Anyway, guys, this is not a paid promotion. Just show to you what bottle did I use for this one. So I cut this part of the bottle until here. So that's what I did. It's really a lovely bottle, actually. And yeah, that's what um, that's where I got this, <laughs> right? So anyway, what else do we have here? So. We have a lot of inks. Did um, did they include what color is it? So far, they didn't include what color. It is just a shade of what it was. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, so I'll just show to you what else we have. So this is actually our glass dip pen have to be careful this is actually fragile all right so this is again pink the run the random the color that the seller has so and there's a protector part there so we will test this later if this works because um, based on what I watch in YouTube, I discovered that actually some people got um, a glass dip pen that didn't work at all. Um, I hope that this one um, will work and that's why we did unboxing. Also for a review with regards to the product itself, okay? So for the design, as you can see, this is the NIMP. Okay, actually there's a lot of um kind <laughs> a lot of kind um there's um another kind of um glass nimb of this um pen that's really different um it's kind of like um wider than this one and actually that is not advisable guys because to be honest you really need this kind of nimb so that you can actually work it out with um a small bottle because sometimes you know the bottle mouth doesn't actually um, fit on wider nibs. So the thinner nib is have that does have that advantage, guys. Sorry, I can hardly speak. All right. So based on the design, yeah, basically it's pink and it looks like there's a marble on oh, this one so actually this reminds me of my unicorn cards <laughs> all right and that's why it's okay for me even though it's pink okay i love girly stuff you know um i don't mind having that kind of um stuff <laughs> or color uh, anyway let's see what else we have so we got again a glass part here and this is the rest for your um, glass dip pen and you can go ahead and place it like this and then place your glass dip pen there so just have to be careful and with regards to the comfort if ever you were touching it or using it I think I, I think that much more bigger one or wider one will be great that's what I think and forgive the noise guys it's not my radio I'm not listening to any maybe it's my neighbors um anyway guys so let's go ahead and see what kind of color do we have and I will demonstrate later on so by the way guys I forgot okay I'll show to you where I purchased this one okay Alright, so I will just show to you now with regards to this ink. So I forgot to tell you guys that this kind of design has glitters on it. Really forgive my hands guys. I've been doing candles lately, okay? That was my business actually. I use mica powder. That's the reason why my hands kind of dirty. <laughs> okay, forgive. And anyway, let's see with the inks. So we got a green one here. 
Hmm, I think it's better if I demonstrate um, how it looks like um, with a paper. So I will just go ahead and set up my space here because to be honest, I don't like to actually do some artistic work and then my painting ex is exposed, okay? Um, anyway, I don't want to ruin this painting. <laughs> so I just go ahead and set this up. First of all, we're going to test our inks here. So I'll go ahead and test this first one. So this is actually green. So remember to shake this up so the gold mica will be mixed with the ink. So that's what we're going to do. And then after that, it's now time to open our ink bottle. So, so far there's um, another covering here. So just go ahead and use my roll-on opener. So I use this one in roll-on making. And this one that I have here, I don't use that for that project. This is something that was separated. Actually, this is my extra one in case I lost um, the, my main one and lucky I have a spare for this project or for this unboxing alright so take note guys that this is actually messy once that we open this up actually keep on doing this lately with regards to the filming okay that's why as you can see my hands are dirty with ink I did try to wash it up guys but it's really hard to wash my car's Soap and water is not enough. So anyway, we're going to wash our um, bottle here with ordinary tissue. Uh -huh. Ordinary tissue will be fine. So let's do that and of course wash as well our opener. Anyway, it's clear. Then ink bottle too. Anyway, let's prepare um, our glass dip pen and something to write on, <laughs> okay, as a scratch. So let's dip mm, the pen like that. I have a lot of bloopers when doing this kind of stuff. So first of all, we're going to test it. That's still a lot. So this is the color, as you can see. So let's just go ahead and test that with our sheet here. Sheet, <laughs> okay. Um, I think I will just go ahead and try to draw a leaf like that. I don't know if this will work, something that I have in mind. And we will just rest my um, glass dip pen there. And I'll try to use my... I forgot what this is called. So, this is actually a brush with water inside. Plain water. So, all I have to do is try to scatter. Oh, it worked. But there's um, a dirt here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where is it? There's a small piece of hair there. <laughs> Alright. Let's just uh, make a leaf. There you go. But the lining is not there anymore. <laughs> Anyway, it worked for our purposes. Anyway, we forgot to clean this up. Okay, for that, we'll need a, a water here. This is a cup of water, but make sure you use plastic cups so you may not, um, you, so you may not actually 
cause the name to to crack or to cause some trouble with your name <laughs> right so just go ahead and do again what I drew in the beginning and then I'll just go ahead and write what kind of color this is so basically I'll just write green actually I'm just going to use my normal handwriting and my normal handwriting is like this whenever I use capital letters I just um, just actually have that capital one bigger than the other ones anyway if you ask me how my gosh I'm getting clumps here this is for my brush my brush pen here okay so anyway this is how the green looks like okay so for the paper I use water watercolor paper all right so because yeah that can work <laughs> Anyway, so we're done with testing the green one. So, in order for us to clean our glass tip pen, you just need a water and as well as a paper tissue. So, don't use the ordinary tissue because it may leave some residue on your um, glass tip pen's nib. So, it's satisfying to watch. So, for closer look. Alright then, so after dipping your your glass dip pen on the water, wash it with paper towel. Forgive the noise. Alright, now let's again place the stopper there. Actually, you really have to place the stopper because um, I tried to actually um, remove this stopper and then when I shake this up, because of you know the gold spilled <laughs> as I look at my hands good luck I have a lot of greens on my hand I already did this lately you know but the video that I film in is not good so I have to redo this again <laughs> all right so let's see what else we have so we got um kind of like bronze color here and again, let's shake this up so that the gold mica powder will be distributed. And let's go ahead and open it up. So anyway, guys, I forgot. If ever you want to purchase this one, I'll include the link down below where you will purchase this, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and open this up. So there we go. I opened this one. Did you forgive the noise? I will just continue when they're done playing a song right by the way i forgot to show to you the brand of my watercolor paper so again this is not a paid promotion i'm just going to show to you what i use so anyway this is it okay the one that i have here this is britannia and this is actually watercolor paper it's 300 um 140 lbs so or gm <laughs> don't know how i pronounce to pronounce that one um anyway yeah that's um the one that i i actually use right now so anyway i didn't purchase that at shopee actually i purchased that long long ago okay before um covid19 <laughs> at javier store so anyway so let's proceed on with testing this one so i have to again include the cup again to shake it up because actually i waited for a long time to actually um make make this okay because of the noises really forgive the noise most of the time i film during the night time because actually this is 
a busy neighborhood sometimes especially if there's construction going on so anyway again I'm just going to clean everything again and let's go ahead and test this ink and remove the excess one and again let's test it with our swatch swatch here so as you can see this is the color kinda like bronzy hmm look like brownie I'll just call it bronze so for that one I'm just going to create a circle here and then I'll use my pen brush and then scatter the color inside it's better this way than the other way around actually I tried to actually scatter the, the ink by my glass dip pen it didn't look good okay to be honest like um, again I'm going to wash it with my glass here <laughs> okay see so that's what I'm going to do here um, anyway, I'll show to you what happened, okay? This is actually what I filmed late lately. And actually, the film is not good because of the background noise since our neighbors has been listening to music. So this is what it looks like if you didn't use the pen brush. So I would just suggest, guys, if you want to fill up the color, use your watercolor brush. That's my suggestion for you all. <laughs> anyway, so the color um, here hmm, looks like gold when I scattered it. Um, I think I go ahead and put gold and bronze here. Because if you scattered it, it looks like gold. But if you will just write with letters, it looks like bronze. So I will just include gold and bronze. There you go. Forgive the handwriting, guys. <laughs> Actually, my handwriting is not that good, okay? Now, I will just go ahead and close this one with my roll-on opener. There. And then... Let's proceed to the other color. So this may take some time, guys. Really forgive, and I don't want to actually um, make this video in a fast-forward form. Let's enjoy every moment. <laughs> All right. Now, <laughs> anyway, so again, going to open this up. Again, there's some noises in my background. I don't know if you can hear. But again, there again, I think we'll play another song. Actually, I'm ignoring songs because I can't monetize if there's a song there. So did I, I forgot if I shake this one. I'll just shake it properly, forgot. Because we have to shake it so that the mica powder will be scattered on the ink. Forgive, I'm forgetful. <laughs> I know I am. Anyway, forgive the noise. Actually, I'm filming this 5 p.m. Philippine time. And during that time, people are actually going back to their houses after work. So I work from home. That's why I'm just at home. And I also have to handle my business. Actually, it's very advisable to keep me stable during pandemic. Okay. Anyway, for this one, this is actually dark green. So I forgot to test it. So first of all, let's test it. So there you go. It's kind of like dark green. So I will just make a leaf again, I think. 
because it's green. And then I'm going to scatter scatter the paint. I'll just rest my deep painter with my I'm going to use my watercolor pen. I miss painting. I love watercolor painting, really. But the one that I use um, with this painting that I have earlier on, actually, I use acrylic with that one. And that's actually the default if ever you will um, paint a paint by numbers painting. Okay? So, working with watercolor stuff is really different from actually using acrylic Oof. <laughs> look at what happened <laughs> I rushed things okay so that can be fixed all you have to do is actually run it up with your um, paper towel but look at that it's okay that's also what you're going to do if um, in terms of watercolor painting, you overdo it, okay? Just again, try to put my outline. And then, I'm going to include the name for this ink. Just call it dark green. Should have place light green there. It's okay. Forgive the noise. So it looks like black if ever you will just write use it for writing. But if you include um water on it it will look like dark green. So anyway we're done with that color and let's go ahead and clean our glass dip pen so that's satisfying to watch. And then clean it up with our paper towel. Oh, there's still some ink there. Not yet done. So make sure everything is clean. See, that's better. Then let, let's wipe it out. Then let's make our pen rest here. So we're done with this one. So in some other sets it's different. This is actually Sakura set with regards to the paint set, okay? So another kind of set is actually zodiacs and that's what you commonly see um, online or on YouTube. So far I haven't seen anyone that actually unbox Sakura. If ever someone unboxes one, it's um, actually minimal inks that's included in the set. So since I don't have any inks for fountain pens guys, I bought um, a set of um plastic pen with a lot of inks anyway so the next one it looks like black but i'm not sure if it's black or brown and we also have mica ink mica ink at the bottom so we have to again shake it up you wonder if you hear it <laughs> all right forgive the noise I know that you may hear some noises actually I can't really sh um, scatter that one it meant it remains at the bottom maybe this is brown or bronze but let's see hmm. what do you will have here you forgot to clean this up <laughs> my bad guys I keep on opening and I'm not actually 
cleaning my stuff and there's dirt on my on my thumb so this is messy when opening this stuff up so let's wash our stopper then let's see what we got here with the color Just make sure that I don't have too much ink on my glass dip pen and then let's try to see sketch here. It looks like black. Hmm, what am I going to do with black? I think I'll just make a tire for the black. Or a donut. <laughs> Their tire. So let's see if that will actually look good using our watercolor. So it's really black, guys. It's black. So there we go with our tire. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's go ahead and write black. Black. Anyway, let's again rinse our Oops, plastic pen. Satisfying to watch. To dip this up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then let's. Oops. Let's close up our ooh, scattering black ink anywhere. So I have to replace this one. There's a lot of ink already. So my hand. <laughs> it's messy, my gosh. It's okay. Whenever we make crafts, guys, expect your hand to be dirty. <laughs> right? Now, anyway. Of making arts, it's really satisfying. So let's see our next color. Oops, what it looks like. So again, I don't know if it's blue or red, violet maybe, but you will figure it out. I think it's violet and it has red mica color on it. So let's just shake it up. Scatter the makeup powder inside and then let's open it up with our roll on opener. Let's see what we got. It's violet, guys. Wonder what will I do with violet? I think I'll just go ahead and draw a fan. We have um, a lot of. <laughs> dirt okay forgive my hands <laughs> anyway so oh, I forgot to actually clean up my my roll on opener so let's go ahead and see what we have here this is violet for sure yeah it's definitely violet a bit focused. Oh dear, can't be seen. <laughs> but you will see it clearly once that we're done with this one, okay? So, for the violet, I think I will just go ahead and make a flower with it. So, 
let's see if that will turn out into a flower <laughs> okay so I just place my plastic pen there and let's see what we got let's make it as a flower <laughs> that's an odd looking flower <laughs> it turned into pink <laughs> Is it pink? Oh my gosh. But it looks like violet lately. This is interesting, guys. So, hmm. Chili. This looks freaky. Like, um. <laughs> it became ugly, my gosh. Forgive. <laughs> I'm not that expert in drawing, really. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and I'm not sure if it's pink or violet, but it, it turned out to be pink. Does it look pink here? Let's see what it looks like if we're going to actually write. Let's just go ahead and put pink or violet, I think. Pink? Does it really look like pink? It looks like violet for me. So, let's again... <gasps> oh my gosh, I scattered it again. May I make plants in the skies? Forgive. <laughs> Alright. Remind yourself to actually, before you do that, wait for the canvas to dry. <laughs> actually, that's what I don't like with watercolor um, painting. Like, you have to wait for it to dry and then you will put in the second layer once that it's dry. Compare that with um, acrylic paint. Acrylic paint actually dries faster than watercolors. So... Anyway, that's it for, don't know if it's pink or I, I just include violet in case. This is the final violet that we have. <laughs> it looks like purple, so just go ahead and make a slush and I just include purple. <laughs> I just put a question mark there. <laughs> Because I don't know, guys, if that is a pink or purple. Because if you will um, use it for writing, it looks like purple. Really, it doesn't look like much of a pink, honestly. Okay, let's just try. My gosh, where is the stopper? Just place a stopper there. There you go. And then... So let's see what else we have. So we got this one. Really forgive the noise. Alright, so let's go ahead and test this um, ink. It took some time to actually um, wait for the time when it's silent. But I think I can still hear some noises on my background. But I'm not quite sure guys if you can be able to hear that. Alright, so by the way, this kind of look like magenta. Can be the real pink. <laughs> Alright, now, and this one has a red mica. So, let's go ahead and open that one. You red. So, your red ink. See, but let's see if it will still turn out to be red or whatever it is once that we tried it. Let's clean everything and let's try it. Right, so my space is getting smaller. So first of all, we're going to dip our glass dip pen. I think I place a lot. 
right and then let's test it out yeah it looks like red I wonder if, if it will turn pink so I think I would just draw a heart for this since it's red here draw a heart and then just rest it here and then use my watercolor brush or brush pen <laughs> Wow, it's red, definitely. This red. It looks like violet now with regards to the flower. Just go ahead and show that to you. Hope that this may not get messy. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. It became kind of like purplish with this one and the other is really red. So, anyway. Just rinse my watercolor brush and then let's write red for that or yeah red then since it's done let's rinse let's rinse it it's turning violet or water And then use our paper towel to wipe it. And I'm going to close this one now since we're done with it. This one looks orange. Actually, tent actually under someone's written. I don't understand Chinese guys. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and shake it first before we open that to scatter the yellow, the yellow parts, the makeup powders. Right. Let's clean this up. Ooh, it marked my watercolor bud. So let's begin first by testing the color. Let's dip our Less neat. It's orange. And just make an orange. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely orange. So let's go ahead and make an orange. So for that, I'm just going to and then put some dots <laughs> there. And then let's see if this will be really an orange. So I use my water brush. It's definitely orange, guys. Rinse that. And then let's write orange. not that dry so I still can't actually apply some something there so look at that it's really an orange you 
We will cut it out. <laughs> we can do that still. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh no! The color was dry. My bad. I ruined it. Just redo it again. Hope that. Okay, we will not place any dots. <laughs> Because I have to wait for a long time for that. So anyway, I will just rinse this up. Since we know it's orange. So, rinsing. As you can see. Use our paper towel. And then, let's place it back. For the next one, I think it's yellow and it has yellow glitters. Micaiah. Let's go ahead and open it up. And obviously, there's some inks. That's why I use my spare roll-on opener. Because if I use the one that I'm using, my gosh, my roll-ons might have some ink <laughs> if I use that. So anyway, let's test what color was it. If it's really yellow. Yep, it's yellow, definitely. So, I just go ahead and make a sun. There you go. <laughs> I'll show it to you later. I know that it's not shown that well. Okay. So again, I'm going to use my water brush. Definitely yellow. So... There, it's really yellow. And I'm going to show it to you. really yellow. <laughs> so, we're going to write yellow. Actually, yellow is my favorite color when I was little. But now, my favorite color is blue. Kind of miss those days. Actually, I have a twin sister and my mom used color coding with regards to our clothes. Then, all the yellow stuff is mine, and all the red stuff is my sister's. So, that's how we distinguish our clothes back then. So, anyway, I'm just going to rinse this up since it's done. Alright, that's really satisfying to watch. So, that's done. And then, let's wipe it out with paper. Some people say, call it paper towel, <laughs> paper tissue sometimes. So I will just call it paper towel. <laughs> I think I'm calling it the other way around. <laughs> Alright, so, forgive the noise, there's some dogs barking. Anyway, Ooh, look at how, how it turned out to be. It's not turned into brown. Hmm. So let's see what we have. So it looks like blue. And does it have some mica? Yeah, they, it has green mica powder for this one. 
since we don't understand Chinese, we have to test it all. So, I think that's enough. I like oh blue, <laughs> my favorite color. Just hope it's really blue, navy blue maybe. All right, let's open it up. Did I got the right note? It's the right. Oops, look at that. The ink is flowing. It's going to be messy. <laughs> yeah, definitely messy. So that's why you really have to wrap your area with papers so it may not mess up your area. Okay, really forgive the noise. So, for that, let's go ahead and try this color. Really looks like blue. Blue ink. Supposedly blue, so why not just see what it looks like in our little swatch here. Let's see. So. Definitely blue, kind of like um, royal blue or navy blue, dark, dark blue. So let's, um, I'm just going to draw a cloud. There you go. Oh my gosh, you didn't see. <laughs> oh my gosh, forgive guys, okay, didn't notice it, you can see. So I drew a cloud. And let's go ahead and use our water brush and see what will it look like. so cute I love the blue so it's really definitely blue so let's go ahead and rinse it and then let's write blue blue there you go it's a blue <laughs> I like the blue and then let's rinse it Really forgive the noise, it's getting noisy. The dogs keep on barking. And someone just opened the door. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh. I think I just go ahead and actually I'm doing it night now, but still it's noisy. And someone is actually playing the TV television so Again, I need to pause. <laughs> Alright, so uh, it's been night here and I continue this video. Okay, so we stop at blue. Now let's go ahead and see this color. So I think it's another blue. Looks like blue. And there's green mica powder. So let's go ahead and Shake it up. Let's give it a good shake. And then let's open it. Forgive the noise. <laughs> I just film and then the dogs start barking. At the background, I'm not sure guys if you can hear that, but there's really dogs barking on my, at my background. Actually, there's a lot of dogs in this neighborhood. We also have dogs in our house. <laughs> and anyway, I'm not a dog person, I'm a cat person. <laughs> so anyway, let's test this um, ink. and dip our 
open and then let's test what will it look like it looks like cyan cyan <laughs> I don't know what to call it see I'm not sure if you can see properly it's evening well you can't see clearly let's just hope that when we actually combine that with water we can actually see so since it's kind of look like a water I'm going to draw a droplet that will dress um, sorry that will represent this color like the dark <laughs> I don't know if that's a good droplet <laughs> all right now let's go ahead and use the water brush sure what you call it guys okay so see this real color appears it's not dark blue it's cyan or cyan <laughs> I think cyan is the right pronunciation so let's rinse and got new water there so already disposed what we use the other time actually it's very hard to remove on a brush that color is so strong actually I experiment with uh, inks lately and I discovered that some of the inks don't really blend well with other colors or with this brush so now we know what color it is let's write it down can you hear that? that's actually the sound of the glass ink pen kinda like um, scratching on my paper <laughs> alright so Look at how satisfying it is. <laughs> it's really satisfying to watch. <laughs> Alright. Still, I hope that my pen's um, I'm going to be cleaned after that. Anyway, I thought that the color is so stuck here because I had a hard time to remove the color here. There's still a little blue. I'm not sure if you can see. Forgive my hands. <laughs> it's dirty because of what they're doing. <laughs> okay, actually, this inks is really hard to remove on the skin. Actually, I wash many times by soap and water. It still doesn't help. I try alcohol. It's still the same. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to remove this stuff. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I'm done with Sian. So, let's try another color. So, by the way, guys, I forgot to show to you why we're testing it because basically it doesn't show any words in English here I don't understand Chinese so so far this is hmm I think this is red as well <laughs> or pink let's figure it out which is the reddish is this um, red or just magenta Look at the bubbles. <laughs> That's why I don't like filming at night because you can't actually see what's going on. <laughs> okay. It's better if it's um, daytime because you can see things clearly, but at nighttime, the advantage is it's silent, but yet, you know, there's some disadvantage too. Mm. Anyway, so 
Look at that. <laughs> Getting messier here. Looks like red. Red orange, I think. My poor hands. <laughs> Good luck with me. <laughs> Alright, now let's see what kind of color this is. That's a lot of bubbles. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, it's red orange. I'm not quite sure if you can see. For the red orange, hmm, wonder what will I draw? Hmm, orange again. <laughs> I think I'll just make a balloon. There you go, a balloon. Let's use our paintbrush again. Red orange. Now it looks like pink. <laughs> it's a little pink. I'm not quite sure what this is. Interesting. But can you tell me what color is it? I'll just show it to you. Look at that. Looks like this is my red. Weird sounds. What's going on? <laughs> um, kind of looks like pink as well. You can actually tell what kind of color this is. But let's assume it's red orange. <laughs> that looks like pink. If you use it for writing, honestly it looks like red orange. But if you add um, the water, it looks like pink. So just put pink. <laughs> With a question mark. Oh my gosh, you didn't see what I'm writing now. There. Pink. Because we don't know if that's pink or that's red orange. <laughs> Anyway, let's include what do you think about this color. Now, wow, we're on the, our last color at last. So by the way, I'm going to show to you other alternative on how to actually, um, what do you call this? Other alternative for the ink. Okay, now anyway, I just go ahead and rinse this one. Rinse or clean the nimble of our glass tip pen so I was able to do that I like the color blue there wipe it gently um I don't have any space here anymore so I think I'll just go ahead and um do the update here on top so we're going to talk about another um stuff aside from this one we're just going to have a little experiment okay now let's cover this up is it on top i think it is So for the last color, we have, oh this looks like violet or indigo, but let's see, let's shake it up and it has a gold 
glitters or mica powder inside. This is violet. But we'll figure it out. Okay. Here is our um, ink. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really violet. This one. Right? So, for the violet, I just again make a flower, but a different flower. This time with let's just use our brush. So cute. <laughs> anyway, now let's put violet. So there we go. We completed um, the inks for the deep glass pen set. All right. So we have the green, gold or bronze, dark green, black, pink or purple. So I think this will be, um, I, I still can't tell, okay. <laughs> Our red, um, orange, yellow, blue, cyan, red, orange or pink, and we also got violet. So anyway, let's wrap this up. Alright, I forgot to show you something, guys, I really... And it's so messed up with my unboxing of this one. Alright, I wasn't able to show you much about the free glass here. Where you can watch your glass dip pen in. And the rest. How it looks like. <laughs> Alright. Of course, you've seen this many times already. And I just noticed that there is a blue, blue area there. Actually, it's inside this glass, so it's there maybe when it was made, <laughs> okay? And some, I can tell if this is a crack on this bubble area here, but there is. Not quite sure if you can see. Alright. Now we're done with this one. I'll just um, place some of the other stuff here since I'm not going to use it at all. Um, I'm just going to show you something. Alright, very quick. Because I forgot to show you guys. So, <laughs> anyway, this is the top, right? And then this is the side. And it says here, I can't pronounce it right. <laughs> Looks so <laughs> I can't really. Oh my gosh, forgive, okay? So at the back, let's see what's written here. So it says here, dip the glass in ink gently to fill the thread with ink. 
Tilt the pen slightly and rotate so that the ink is eventually is evenly distributed. Flush with water after writing. And yeah, Mesodius, what it says here. Oh my gosh, your shirt, forgive. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of things here that's written and there's the address um, of the maker. My hands are really annoying, it's so dirty. <laughs> so suitable for children over six years old. Anyway, so that's the back. And now we're going to try other options for this glassy pen. Okay, because well I don't have other inks, so let's try other alternatives. First, we're going to try this dual tip brush pens. Anyway, I haven't done any unboxing for this one. <laughs> Alright, because this is a lot, my gosh. It'll take me years to unbox. So, anyway, to make it different from the violet, I think I'll just um, go ahead and try some other color that doesn't include anything here there's violet orange um, green think brown yes I will try brown since this set doesn't have brown but it has browns <laughs> all right now what I'm going to do is use the brush part of this pen And then, I'm going to put that on the tip of my glass pen. So far, it's not working, guys. <laughs> it's not really working. Oh my gosh. What's wrong? It doesn't work. <laughs> Look at that. Doesn't work. No. It's a bad idea. It didn't work. So this one doesn't work. It's already a cross out. I thought it will. Because I thought this was like a watercolor pen. And definitely it's not. Actually, um, glass tip pen works on watercolors. But let's try it, okay? I just know that it can't work well in acrylic because acrylic paints are much more thicker than the watercolor stuff. So let's go ahead and try it. Alright, so here I have some palettes and this is actually watercolor and this one is brown. And this is actually acrylic paints and this is the one that I use on my balloon painting. Alright, so let's begin first with the guitar watercolor. Actually, this is the one that I use when I still study fine arts and that's the reason why it's almost done. <laughs> okay. Actually, I cannot suggest this kind of watercolor, guys, because actually this is cake color sorry that it wasn't shown because of whatever this is but it's cake color and no matter how much you try it guys it's actually lighter color kind of like um maroon macaroon sorry macaroon colors pastel colors all right so first of all you see your watercolor brush and i'll choose blue And then, let's place it on your glass tip pen. Place the color there. Not sure if you can see, but at least it colors than the other one that we tried earlier on. It didn't work. Now I'm doubting it if that's really watercolor and stuff pens. <laughs> really. Anyway, let's see if that will work. So let's begin first with our swatch. 
Yep, it worked for watercolor. Now let's test if ever it will work out if you will use the brown. I think brown and watercolor is the same maybe. But yeah, it says semi-moist watercolor, so it's still watercolor. But different. Actually this one I I didn't finish this off. I, I got it um when I studied in when I studied visual graphics. Actually I didn't actually use this actually. If I use very slightly and there's still a pen no the paintbrush here. So let's go ahead and try. But first, I'm going to clean my brush, of course. So I think I will use um, the green for the brown. Let's see if the brown works. I think it will because it's kind of like similar to watercolor. But in a different way. <laughs> All right. So far, it works. It regards to you know, the ink was able to go there, and let's test it. Yep, it worked. So the brown works as well. Um, let's see what else we can do. So I forgot to wipe it up. And then I have to rinse my brush as well. I'm not sure if you can see <laughs> what I'm doing. So I'm rinsing my my brush. So I want to rinse the green. <laughs> but it doesn't show that there's green on my paper towel. Anyway, we're done with the brown. So, I'm going to try my acrylic. This is the one that I doubt. If it will work because this is much more stickier much more thicker than the watercolor but let's see if this will work so i already tried the blue green how about orange so i'll try number six this is thick this is just for trial and fun and I have to rinse it earlier on or else my brush will harden because acrylic paints can actually ruin the brush that's what you need to know so I heard I want to clean that one let's see if this will work not much guys but it colored but it's not that bright and just cleanse it and I have a hard time to cleanse my my glass dip pen so trying acrylic is very risky <laughs> it can destroy your brush all right just have to cleanse it earlier on because if not, it will stick on your pen. So since I tried the colors, I'll just go ahead and try to make an artwork with this glossy pen. And let's see what will happen. Alright, so bear with me guys because I'm not that expert in terms of drawing. Okay, that's not really my specialty. I'm more into craft making, like candle making carving but not drawing guys okay i'm really bad at it um anyway i just go ahead and wrap this up and then 
and show to you what I can do with this glass dip pen that we have here. Alright, so I decide to use actually this set, okay, that we have with our glass dip pen. So let's see what I can make. Alright. So I think I want to draw a teddy bear. <laughs> I love bears. And I will use my orange ink. Then let's shake it up. Hmm. Actually, I tried it lately when I'm experimenting, guys, while I'm waiting for the right time to film. Because actually it has been noisy. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is what I did <laughs> while I'm practicing. Really forgive my drawing, guys. It's been so long since I last drew. So I figure out that I'm more good at um, making bear <laughs> rather than making a face. So, because it's been a long time since I last drew. Honestly speaking, I'm more into crafting than drawing. Okay. Anyway, so let's try to draw a bear. And I discovered, guys, that actually if you try to make a draft, it's still obvious, you know. I think it's advisable if you don't have any guidelines for your drawing. Um... And I don't do though, guys, okay? Let's just see what can we do. So I begin first with orange. And for this one, let's test it first before we actually do our actual drawing. So the excess ink won't affect us. So I'll just go ahead and draw. Um, I think I want to go after a... Let's draw first. Actually, I just tried to copy my other drawing. I don't work well without um, guides, without pencil draft. I'm not good at it. Just assume that I got it right, despite of not having. It's just a draft. Oops, sorry guys, you can see what I'm doing.
looks like the hand of the bear. Oh my gosh, it's the hand of the girl. And then the bear is just so watching over. I wonder what can I do with the bear. I think I'll just place the arm of the bear here. Like that. Since I'm not sketching with a pencil. It's very difficult without a pencil. Really. So. Let's see. What can we do here? Just hope that my brush can do the job. Okay, so I just try to color. The parts. Forgot to draw some lines there with a the book. I ruined the bear. <laughs> Forgive. Anyway. I ruined the bear. I love bears, but my bear is ruined. Anyway. Actually, this is not um, kind of like a good ink to paint with. Shouldn't be like this. Really? Maybe because my ink is drying up, that's why it's kind of like that. Mm -hmm. See if I can fix up some of the stuff that's not good. Alright, at least we have a form. Now, just go ahead and actually try to... I'll try to use red, I think. I don't have a um, flesh color. So, I think... Having orange should be nice. Doesn't look nice, guys. <laughs> I know it looks ugly. Let's go ahead and... It's still wet. So we have to wait till it's dry up. Or use our... Tissue. It's been a long time since I last drew. <laughs> Looks ugly. Anyway, so just go ahead and use my. Oh, it's yellow. Don't want to use yellow, I want to use red. Look at that bloody red. <laughs> My gosh, bloody red. Anyway, let's see. I just hope that it won't ruin my artwork. I think I'll just um, need some mark, at least with the red. It will show more detail than the orange ones. Okay. 
The ice part is not good. Is it a no skin here? <laughs> Weird. And then the eyes of my bear is not shown. So. The bird looks like a panda. <laughs> this is it as a bear ball. And the eyes of the woman is very different from the other. <laughs> oh my gosh. I become red. <laughs> oh my gosh. A woman looks like a possessed girl. I think I have to wash it up. Because it doesn't look nice. Let's just put... Oops, there's water there. Looks like a possessed girl with the red eyes. Oh my gosh. What have I done to her? <laughs> it's hard without um, a job first. Really. Anyway. Let's go ahead and try it. Try to call her. It's not blood, okay? <laughs> it's not. Just shading. So far, I enjoyed it. Honestly. Just forgive my drawing. It's been a long time since I last draw. Oops. Wrong part. I'll try to actually make up with a bear. Let's put some shadows on the bear. And then pink ears. Hmm, what's this? Let's blend it together. How can I turn this to peach? Looks like a reddish girl. And light peach.
think I need to put some orange. <laughs> oh, look at the girl. My gosh, it looks <laughs> looks like a ghost. <laughs> oh my gosh, what did I do to the girl? Anyway, let's try to fix that, I think. I'm not that good at um, sketching stuff. I just go ahead and write something. Actually, this is uh, the name of my other channel that I didn't actually pursue. Let's just put some design. Sorry for this childish work. Just go ahead and make everything pink, I guess. So that it may resonate with some of the areas here, so that the girl may not look like something, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I enjoyed it. I think I'll just go back to orange, I think, so I can fix the girl. Or, yeah, I think I have to help the girl turn into a girl. Because <laughs> she turned like a, a zombie or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm really bad at drawing. I don't know why I make it in fine arts. I don't know why they accepted me. Actually, in the entrance exam of that school, you have to draw. And I don't really have an idea why did they include me in. <laughs> really. Just have they gotten an experience to actually be inside the university. Alright, so just go ahead and try orange. Oh, this is yellow. Okay, yellow, I give you a chance. Okay, fix my stuff. Please. <laughs> if you can. Perhaps yellow and red make orange. It's like that. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Actually, sometimes I watch artists to draw life, and I'm so amazed by them. I wish I can draw that good. Just try to find some inspiration. Actually, when I was little, I dream of becoming an animator. Um, I wanted to be a painter first. And then when Disney um, was a hit, um, I told my parents I want to be an animator. So that's also the reason why I started visual graphics. Because that's my childhood dream to be an animator. 
but so far I realize that that is not what I want in, in life. I'm not really that good at drawing. I'm more into crafting, really. Rather than drawing. So I know how to draw. Anyway, forgive the noise. Again, some dogs are barking out there and I don't know what are they barking about. Um, anyway. So, let's see if this yellow can actually do magic for us. Let's just hope it can. Can you do magic? Na, 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 na. Well, this doesn't look reddish girl anymore. <laughs> no, I, she looks like um, a yellow girl. <laughs> and some highlights for the plant. It worked, but she become a blondy person. <laughs> I think I like the red hair better than yellow, than a blondy. But let's just make it as a color of the book. So far it blends well. I forgot, I don't have a a dark color yet, so I can actually uh, elaborate the eyes of each. Hmm. I think I'll just um, try to... Because it's too yellowy. I don't want my character to be so yellowy, so she become tan, <laughs> kind of tan. Um, I just go ahead and use a dark color for the bear's eyes. Really sorry for that dog that has been barking. That's the reason why I'm not a dog person, because I don't like the barks. I more like cats. They're sweet. They're kind. Um, they're gentle spirit. So I just go ahead and use the gold one. <laughs> the one that we thought as a, as a bronze and it can turn into a gold. So I hope that this helps with regards to the bear's eyes. That dog doesn't know how to stop barking. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. Yep, it worked. I hope it worked for the eyes of the... the <laughs> kinda. It's too dark. <laughs> Just need some water, some coloring for the eyes. Just color it up because it will turn into gold if I use my watercolor brush. So there you have it. Better eyes. Story tale. To put some drama for the tea. This 
it's goldy red there <laughs> I think I just finished it here I don't know what to add guys <laughs> I think it also the look there anyway forgot that sorry forgot the details of the book right there the pages the book it's much more better with all the details so <laughs> it got ugly Anyway, let's just hope that the brush can make it work, <laughs> make it happen. Magic brush, come on, scatter it so it won't be obvious that I'm wrong there. There you go. Now I don't have any details with the book. <laughs> I bad. That's why it's better to sketch first. <laughs> then to go ahead and draw. Some artists can do that. I, I just can't work that way, you know. I need sketches. Drop me out. Anyway, I don't like the color of the, the book. It became like yellowish. Um, and it's supposed to be like brownish. If you don't like the color, then erase it with paper towel. <laughs> My gosh. If I will use black for that one, I'm not sure if that will that will be great. A great idea, I think not. Just put random kinda of like a strand of hair. And then I forgot to double the strands of the hair here. What can I do with a book? I think I'll just... I just use red, I think. Red again. Because gold... The bronze can turn into gold. <laughs> Alright. I don't want to use black, it's risky. So, just go ahead and use the red. Where did I put the red one? Over here. Violet. Don't like violet. I more like red. Because it can make brown. So far, I don't have any brown color. Maybe I'll purchase a separate ink for that. Since I don't have it. Alright, it's gotten messier here. Alright. Again, the dog loves to park. Whether it's night or day, they will park. Anyway, let's see. Those we have here. I 
much better. <laughs> At least it turns something that I want, but I don't know what kind of part this is. I think it's a bare part. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Part of the bear is odd. Really. It looks like a frog with his heart. Anyway, I think it's better to leave it this way rather than to ruin again my, my drawing. <laughs> the more that I put something, the more that it got ruined, okay. So anyway, I'll just go ahead and stop here. So this is what I did so far with regards to my my glass tip pen. So I just hope that you actually um, admire this video. So anyway, if you want this set, I will include the link down below, alright? So anyway, that's it guys. So really forgive I'm not that good at drawing really. I'm just good at crafting. That's it. Okay. Anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and sending you all peace, love and light. Bye.